Hello friends, welcome to automationtalks.com, myself Prakash Narkade and today I am here with a Selenium video tutorial for Fluent Wet which is a part of Synchronization and Selenium Web Driver. In my earlier videos uh, regarding this synchronization, I covered about what is synchronization, what is thread dot slip, what is implicit weight, explicit weight. So today I will talk about Fluent Wet. Before that, let me talk shortly about the synchronization. So, the synchronization is nothing but matching the speed of your application under test and your um, automation tool. Then, thread dot slave we should not prefer because it will uh, we, we do hard code the value of the time uh, in millisecond and your application will be uh, slipped for that particular time which we mentioned, even if the element uh, con element the condition of the element occur before to that. <laughs> implicit weight is uh, apply applied to the uh, whole life of the driver explicit weight will be applicable to only particular condition particular element whichever we want to wait for right now let us discuss about fluent weight today so fluent weight is nothing but it is the more advanced version of explicit weight Right. In explicit weight, we do wait for particular element only for a specific amount of time. Right. But in fluent way, there are few uh, other properties with fluent weight as an addition to explicit weight. Right. So let us talk about that. Let me create one class for fluent weight. And let me copy the code to launch the driver and implicit weight <laughs> fine now what is uh, how to how to define fluent weight so fluent weight can be defined as weight weight is equal to new fluent weight right and we should parameterize that make sure that you import it from selenium package which is the latest one right and you have to it is generic we should give web driver and Okay, let me define it again. Friend with and my input should be driver and this t here it should be web driver fine so let me parameterize this so this is how we can uh, okay for me I have some issue but that is why it is taking the full uh, path for this fluent weight but that should be new fluent weight this 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 and along with this there are few features like with timeout and let us say with timeout duration I give it as a 10 and along with that there is something polling every I'll explain you this
start ignoring no no such element exception dot class right so this is the full definition of your uh, explicit weight uh, uh, sorry fluent weight right so for this fluent weight here we do uh, define timeout so it should wait maximum of 10 second and polling every this means it should be polling to your DOM structure f in every this much amount of second that is one second here uh, to check a particular element visibility has changed or something whatever is your condition right so it will keep polling your DOM structure with this much amount of time right so if my total amount of time is 10 second I'll keep it as a 2 second so for every 2 second it will pull the DOM structure and it will check okay if the particular condition has been satisfied right and, uh, and next one uh, next feature uh, to this fluent weight is it it can ignore any of the exception if you want right so in this case I, I, I want to ex uh, uh, ignore this no such element exception right so you can ignore this right so this is how we can define a uh, fluent weight right so the detailed program you can find on my blog so I'll just take this and I'll explain you Let me import the packages. 